Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a widescreen effect cinematic film look to your clips. So I've got a sequence of clips laid out here on my timeline, and it's really simple to add that widescreen and cinematic color grading to it. So first, let's highlight our project media bin and go to File, New, Adjustment Layer to create an adjustment layer for us to drag on the track above our clips. This is going to allow us to build the widescreen bars and color effects and stretch them out over multiple clips if we need to. Next, head over to the effects panel on the right hand side and search for the crop effect. Click and drag this onto your adjustment layer and then set the top and bottom crop to about 12 to 13 percent. I'm going to use 12.2 for that 235 to 1 anamorphic ratio. Now, do keep in mind that this is simply letterboxing your clip into that anamorphic widescreen look. However, if you ever really needed to get a specific resolution for some reason, you could always go to File, New Sequence, go to the Settings, and open a sequence in a specific resolution size. This way and this method with just adding the crop is fine for creating a nice little cinematic sequence in your YouTube videos or vlogs and whatnot. Next, we want to add our cinematic color grading. So head over to your Lumetri Color tab and you have a whole host of options here. I actually have a full tutorial on how to color grade by hand, so I'll link that at the end and I would check that out. But if you open up the Creative tab, there's actually a ton of creative presets if you're just getting started that you can flip through and click to apply to the adjustment layer and see how they look on the clips underneath. You can also do things like add that faded film look, or you can go into things like the curves menu and add curves adjustments of your own to create a color that fits your clips and desired mood. Additionally, since the clip still exists behind these black bars, you have the option of clicking on the clips and then adjusting the vertical position of them to readjust the center of the clips if some things got cut off or animate them with keyframes for a panning effect. So that's how to create that cinematic film look in Premiere Pro. Very simple and easy. However, I'd also recommend checking out my color grading tutorial for more in depth on that and check out my slow motion tutorials and speed ramping tutorials for more cinematic effects to add to your arsenal. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Twitter. Always appreciate that. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.